Want to know some secret weird habits that writers have? Stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Leah Lindemann. Welcome to Pen to Paper. I'm the author of the Canadian Reminiscence series and a high performance writing coach. Today, I'm going to share a few little weird habits that I have as writers and that I know other writers have. So you're ready to kind of find out our dirty little secrets? Well, here they are. All right, number one is for the lover of words that we are, we tend to stare at blank pages a lot. What do I mean by that? We aspire to write words that doesn't always necessarily happen, especially when we have writer's block. That's a very real thing that all of us deal with. And some of us deal with it on a more regular basis than others, but we all tend to love a blank page and yet get really frustrated by it at the same time. It's like this weird toxic love relationship thing that we have with words and blank pages. So if you do decide to write, you can look forward to some toxicity in your life from none other than a blank page and the words that you desire to write. It's a little wacko. All right. Second thing that is a weird habit for many writers is that we get into these weird mm, cleaning sprints because we love words so much, but we are intimidated by the blank pages that we see so often. So we decide, eh, maybe it's just better to go do something else completely unrelated to writing. Let's go wash those dishes that we really don't like to wash. Let's go do that organizing project that we've been putting off for months because really, who needs an organized space when you're writing? <laughs> we don't make, <coughs> we really don't make that much sense. Our heads are not quite on right. So the thing that we wish to do and love to do we kind of just set off with these weird um, excuses that don't make much sense. So you can also look forward to being someone who comes up with strange excuses to not do the thing that you love to do. Welcome to life. All right, number three is we have voices in our heads. We don't see ghosts like the guy from Sixth Sense, but we may hear them. <laughs> what do I mean by that? We don't always hear our own voice. Many times we hear the characters' voices in our heads and even sometimes we may argue with them. That was the case for me with uh, my book, Wisps of Gold. I had this very insistent need to have one of my characters have a certain profession that I believed was really going to solidify that character's place in the book. And soon, quickly after that character decided they were not going to be that profession and they already had a profession and I needed to listen to them. This argument went on for about 25 minutes and I literally thought I was losing my mind. Not the depressed kind of losing your mind, but just you are not alone losing your mind when you're supposed to be alone. That's a little crazy. <laughs> so when you're a writer, mm, they might need to throw you in the loony bin. If you like writing tips and writing advice and anything to do with writer's life, then go ahead, like this video, click the link to subscribe. This helps my channel grow and I am happy that you're here. All right, next is, okay, especially as women, our moods tend to be a little bit all over the place, especially at certain times. But when you're a writer, your mood will be even more all over the place. Why? Because you're so invested in your characters, 
in your story how you want it to go and sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go or you get frustrated with the character so you get angry or you get sad or you start crying or you start laughing this is all very real emotional roller coaster that you go through on a daily basis well depending on your writing and what you're writing and what scenes you're writing and what your characters are doing but more often than not you are going to be feeling a lot of big feelings. So if you don't like to feel things, maybe you shouldn't be a writer. The last book I cried on was, I just released for the first time ever, the sequel uh, to Redeemed from the Ashes. The sequel is titled Ghost of My Heart and it's released for the first time ever as a paperback this past Friday. I read it once through just because I wanted to make sure everything was formatted correctly and I just wanted to do a quick edit to make sure everything was neat and tidy and I cried. In just nine chapters, I cried and I don't cry. I, I just don't and I did with that one and it was a little nonsensical. But there you have it. So you can look forward to crying and feeling the whole emotional human spectrum. And the last one that I want to mention is that we sometimes think of our stories and plot our stories in our heads in settings that are not made for that. <laughs> Mine is the car. You know, I'm driving along and when you're a driver, you're really supposed to pay attention to everything. You're supposed to pay attention to lights and people around you. And I do, but a lot of the times my thinking process for my story takes the front seat and all that other stuff that I'm actively supposed to be thinking about kind of takes a back seat. And then I'm not too sure how much I'm actually really paying attention to it because I'm thinking about my book. And I don't know why it happens to me in the car. For some people, it's the shower. You know, that could be really dangerous too. What if you're daydreaming about a scene and all of a sudden you're just not aware of your physical faculties and you slip and fall and hit your head and, and that's it, you're gone. So <laughs> maybe, maybe we should find other places to actually think about our stuff. That would be the safest route. It would probably be the most logical route, but I am guessing that that is not gonna change for me. So here's to hoping that I never have a car accident. I haven't yet in all the, I don't know how many years I've been driving now. I've been driving for 15 years. Oh, well, I have had a car accident, but this was before I was actively writing and it wasn't my fault. Someone, you know, hit me. And then one time it was because the, I, the, the road was turning to ice in like 20 minutes very quickly and I didn't have winter tires on and I slipped off and went into a ditch. That's totally unrelated and not to the point. None of those have ever been because I've been writing, thinking about my story, but still. <laughs> so those are the five weird writing habits that I have that I actively deal with on a daily or weekly basis. What about you? What weird writing habits do you have? Do we share some weird writing habits? And if so, tell me all of it down in the comments below. I want to know about your weird writing habits. Have a great week. It's okay that you're weird. It's okay that I'm weird. We're all weird and we all have weird habits and we're all in this together. 